it's me again. All right, so I'm here now because I'm gonna show you two tricks, okay? One um, trick I showed already, I believe it was in my Facebook page, but I'm gonna do it again here. So it has to do with the can opener. Har okay, hi, Harper says hello. So it has to do with the can opener, okay? And opening a non-pull tab can with the can opener. Now I've always done it this way and I saw things, you know, that said it was the wrong way. So I did try it the way that it was said to do it this way and it actually works. So if you put the can on top this way, it'll work because you see down a little bit this part right here the edge the sharp part is actually going to cut underneath the can all right so I'm gonna open up this can just to show you that this way actually works <laughs> I was taken away the first time I did it I was like no way and it cuts the can top completely okay completely so that's my one all right this to the side. I'm gonna put this to the side because I have to use that. I'm gonna load this down because I'm cooking at the same time. All right. So I don't know about you, but I save a lot of plastic bags after I do shopping. Like I go food shopping or I go to um, the, the store, of Walmart or whatever, and I get plastic bags. Normally, I just grab them like this and I put them inside a drawer. But it takes up too much space. So I was looking, I was watching one of my fellow YouTube mamas, and she showed me a trick. Well, she showed everyone a trick, and I saw it. I found out a trick that you can use to actually make, turn this into these. So I'm going to show you real quick, all right? I'm going to take one because I have to do them. And I was like, oh, man, let me show my friends. Let me show my friends how to do it. Okay. So you take one bag. Hopefully you guys can see. Yes, the cat in the hands in the background. All right. So you take a bag and you kind of like straighten it out. Okay. Straighten it out. All right. Then you fold it in half the long way. Then you fold it again in half the long way. Okay, so it should be something like this. Now you're gonna take this part, not the part that has the handles, but the bottom part. You're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it like into a triangle. So you see how I took one end and I folded it like a triangle. And then I'm gonna take it up and I'm gonna keep the triangle shape. And I'm just gonna keep folding following the triangle shape. So I have this here, and then this here. Still, I'm going along with the triangle shape. Do it again. Following the triangle shape, go up. Now we're almost there, so you gotta be careful. Not to do too much, because then you'll lose it. Or not do enough, and then it's all crazy. So we have space for one more. So we can do one more flip, or fold, however you wanna call it. And see, so now it's like this. What are we gonna do with this top right here? Well, <clears throat> if you see, there's like a little hole, or a little gap. So if you put this, you just put this little, <clears throat> excuse me, the little piece that's left, and just tuck it in. Tuck it in that little pocket. And then there you go. You have a triangle. And this takes up, takes up <laughs> much less space than having them all just bunched up like this in a drawer, in a box, or in one of those containers. 
because those those help too like one of those wipe containers um, that you reuse and you put these in here and then you pull them out almost like tissue paper each time you need to use it it works but it's a little inconvenient when you're in a rush and you pull it out and then it gets stuck and you end up breaking the bag then the bag is useless so you fold it and it takes up less space than having this all jumbled all right so i'm gonna do another one i'm gonna do it a little bit faster but another one for you to see okay here's the one that i made i'm gonna try to duplicate this they're all they all won't come out the same size and that's okay as long as you have them in a triangle shape and you're able to tuck in that last piece into the pocket to secure it, you're fine. All right? So I fold it the long way, fold it the long way again. I start from the bottom here. I make my first triangle and then I just follow that shape. I just follow that shape. Just follow the shape. Follow the shape. Now, I'm here at the end, I have my little excess part, and I have my pocket here, so I'm just going to tuck the excess part into the pocket. Tuck it in, tuck it in, ta-da, and I'm done. And then, <clears throat> when you're done, you can put it in your drawer, like so. Isn't that cool? So yes, that is how I fold my plastic bags now. And it takes up way less space than having it all balled up and then I can't fit it in the drawer now to find another place for it and it's just ridiculous. But this works. So I'm gonna do one more, okay, one more and then we're done. One more and then you try it at home, all right? Okay, here we go, back again. Another bag. That's Harper in the background. He's playing. That's all right. He has toys. That's okay. I'm at home. I'm a stay-at-home mom right now, so it is what it is. All right. I folded it. I started my first triangle, and now I'm just making my other triangles. After a while, you get the hang of it, and you start doing it faster. You don't worry too much about the size as long as you keep the shape. If you find that it's too fat, it's because you didn't fold it in half the way you should have. Okay, you may have folded it like a little bit more than half or a little less than half and you got a bigger or a wider pattern or a wider space. See, it's in half and you fold it half again. And then you start your triangle. Start your triangle. When I saw this and I tried it, I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Because I had a bag full of bags. Because that's what I do. I used to get a shopping bag and put all my other shopping bags in there. But it would look messy. Or it would take up too much space. And you know, I just couldn't deal with it anymore. I was like, there has to be a better way. There's always a better way to organize something or at least have it so that it takes up less space. And so I was looking on YouTube, following one of my YouTube mamas. I don't remember her name. I'm so sorry. I don't remember her name. If I remember it, I'll put it in the description. But I did it, I saw her do it, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Then I did it, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's even more awesome. And then when I did it with all of my bags, and saw how much space it took, I was like, yes, this is liberating. So I wanted to show you girls and guys how to do it too. There are some that throw away these bags, or there are some that take it to the store so that it could be recycled, and that's awesome. But if you're anyone like me, you always find use for a shopping bag. Whether it be your two-year-old's camper because he's not potty trained and you want to make sure that it has some extra barrier for the smell. 
because you know those pampers can be stinky or it's just um, a liner to the garbage can that you have in your bathroom you'll use the shopping bag for something see so there you go all right so you go where are you at <laughs> all right so now the challenge is up to you for you to try it all right and let me know in the comments if it worked for you or how you feel about it okay I'm sure that you are going to save space so get folding talk to you later bye bye